what's up everyone so today I'm going to show you how to create the 3d phone mockup that I use a lot in my triple shot to demonstrate my design so first thing first uh, what you have to do is you uh, uh, find the 3d models which is available uh, everywhere on a lot of 3d uh, free 3d resources on the internet and one of those is uh, free3d.com they have a lot of free free models. Obviously, most of these are not really like the best quality. But if you uh, take some time to search for it, you can find some decent one. And if you search for iPhone, so if you go for iPhone, I think there's a lot of free models here. It's come with different formats like uh, Cine 4D object or FBX. Uh, I would recommend you to find one that go with Cinema 4D, for example this one, uh, because that's the format that works best with um, Element 3D, which is a plugin that I use to uh, do 3D stuff in After Effects. So you need to download this and unzip and use the Cinema 4D file. So I have this 3D models here. And the quality of this model is pretty decent. As you can see that all of the materials being applied here and being named properly, uh, so that you don't need to um, work on that. So it's almost ready to uh, be imported to After Effects and be animated. But there's a few things that you need to do uh, before that. Uh, first is to break all of these, like, Effector or uh, deformer, all of these should be break, and you select all of them and make editable. Even this, because Element 3D will not understand these deformer unless you break it down. Even for the shape, like you have to make it editable, or else it will not appear in Element 3D. And after checking all of these, even the spheres should be editable. So after you've done this, save the file and go to After Effects. So let's create a com. Uh, a chain. And create a solid layer. Now we're going to call it iPhone. And we go to Effect, uh, Video Copilot Element 3D. Um, so for those of you who are not familiar with this uh, plugin, uh, you can check it out here. Here, so this is a very cool plugin. It will help you to um, do a lot of 3D stuff in right in After Effects. You can animate 3D, uh, do materials, uh, lighting setup. Um, so you can have all of these cool stuff here. All of these are possible. Um, so make sure to check it out. Um, it's not for free, uh, but they have a demo version um, so you can try it I, uh, I think it's totally worth the money is it I use this a lot so let's go to scene setup and here this is your scene what you're going to do is import the 3d models here so let's import this phone and as you can see here the phone is pretty much ready uh, all, all we have to do is just adjust the material a little bit uh, so it, it could look better. Um, so what I'm going to do is to make this borders in black and more classy. Uh, this is the borders and give it the black colors. And maybe 100% glassiness and bring up the, the reflectivity but not too pop. So yeah, it's looking much better, much better now. Maybe you can even like make this a little bit less intense. And you bring this up a little bit. Alright, so it's much cooler now. And let's change the back into black as well. Um, so this is back. And what's your colors? 100% uh, reflectivity but not too pop. Okay, let's change the color of this uh, little border here. 
so give it the black colors so yeah things look pretty good and by the way in case you don't know which material which part of the material is being applied for if you go here and turn this on and off you can see exactly where it is um, so yes now I think this looks pretty decent pretty decent uh, so let's hit OK and see the form here uh, and the next thing we're gonna do is to apply the design into the screen on the phone so what you're gonna do is you import the design it's gonna be like um, a PNG or a video anything that you can think of so let's go with this this is dark and then new com so this is called dark and then drag this com here so you can see this calm here, but you don't need it to show it to make it visible. So you can turn it off and select the iPhone layer. Go to scene setup, and from here you can see that the screen material here is, is empty because we having a missing uh, diffuse channel here. So what you gotta do is you click here and drop it down, and here it can let you to. Um, to replace this with any other uh, uh, video or PNG, um, anything from material. Uh, but what we're gonna need is to import the dark com that we just create into this. So in order to do this, let's go back here. So we have this dark com and go to custom layer and custom texture map. And he's gonna show you a bunch of layer. Uh, you just need to select any of these and assign this dark com to this layer one and then go back to scene setup and go to screen click here and then drop it down here you can see first on layer one is being applied to dark com so select this and you can see this the com is here and okay so it's, it's appeared on the screen but something wrong here is kind of being pushed down a little bit um, so what you're gonna do is just go back here and adjust the textures coordinator here so bring it up a little bit there you go all right it's cool and now we have this on the screen all right, let's see how it looks like. So when you go back here, uh, let's uh, turn this phone around. Uh, to see it. So we go to group one. Uh, in so uh, all of these 3D models is being assigned to group one. Here you can change. You can change it to other group two, three uh, as well. But here is in group one. So everything you need to control. Um, for this models is in this group one drop down so it goes here go to particle look and this uh, particle rotation and then rotate the y direction so you can see there you go this phone screen is here um, so let's create a camera uh, 35 and zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole phone on the screen so so it's here but it doesn't look good so what we gotta do is to adjust the lighting setting to play around with the lighting and the render setting so it could be oh this is oh crap all right oh sorry this is this is pretty annoying. This is really annoying. Just all right. Sorry. Do do do. So lightning. All right. So you go to lighting. You can rotate it in lighting. Just to you, know, you can play around to see what's the best look. So in this one, it will kind of lighten up the lighting a little bit better, uh, and you can also rotate in the environment to kind of find the best looking reflection, um, and you can also 
change the environment to whatever you want. Um, so maybe this, and we can kind of bring up the exposure so it can be more bright. No, just just playing around with this is you know trying to find the best look of it and maybe just improving it all right so let's give it a full render so yeah i think it's look pretty good um so you see these kind of um i don't know what's it called but it's flickering here because of the render setting is not at best uh, so you can go to the output and the sampling here and creating no no not this one uh, you can just bring this up and then it will smoothen out all of these edges so you can have a better look um so and then when you want to animate this phone all you have to do is uh, go to root one uh, particle look and rotation and create a keyframe for this so you can have cool subtle rotation movements going on here uh, so maybe in the opposite way so it's a really cool like revealing motion here so let's give this a very quick review see how it's look like Because you can bring up this render setting to uh, the more higher quality, so that's also affect the render time. So there's no perfect word for this. So here you go. Here you go. Looks pretty damn cool. And if you want to uh, have the kind of reflection under this phone, uh, all you have to do is just create a plane and just drag it down right at the bottom of the phone and scale it up a little bit bigger all right and you go to um, uh, drop it down and then you see that this material is being applied to the plane is uh, default that's to default here but i guess this is the one yeah it is so you don't need to change the color, all you have to do is just go here and then turn on the reflection and also turn on the shadow as well because you're gonna need like to have shadow and reflection as well uh, so it can look more realistic Alright, and then you uh, go to click on those models and then go to this tab uh, is it this time? No, this one. Oh, no, this one. Oh, yeah, this one. Sorry. Not really a good instructor. Uh, okay, and then you select uh, reflect reflect mode, and then you can select mirror surface. So what it does is it's gonna reflect anything that on top of the plane. So in this case, it's the phone. So if you go back to the scene. And you see there's a little, little reflection here and the reason why that you don't see it as much because you need to increase the reflectivity here it's just just bring it to one yeah so you, you see that is really almost like doubling the phone now but we don't need that much uh, maybe just uh, 50% and bring it down a little bit so yeah I think it's, it's, it's cool um, yeah for the shadow you don't quite see it here because we are in the, the black background so if I just to try it on a white background you will see that it's kind of having this ambient Closing the shadow going on here, uh, so you just need to make sure that you turn on this 
this setting. Uh, this one here, ambient occlusion, turn it on, and you can see the shadow. You can even like bring it up a little bit, maybe eight, so it could be more prominent, and maybe just the um, more dissembling here, so it can be in better quality. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, and currently, is the angle is a little bit off. Uh, so let me just adjust it. No, this is because of the camera. So just maybe just remove the camera and create another camera. And, and the reason why is, is the reflection is not really in, in the uh, perfect vertical uh, direction because it is in uh, group 1 and I have just adjusted the rotation of group 1 so all everything is under group 1 is going to be following the you know the the, the um, rotation or the orientation uh, so all you have to do is just drag it down outside of group 1 and assign it to group 2 and then you go out and then you see that the phone is so now we're gonna have the floor is you know closer to what we expected so it look a little bit weird so that's just the rotation maybe just not this uh, maybe just just bring, bring it back to the original position. Alright, I have just um, bring all of the rotation back to original so you can see it better. Um, and, sorry, this is back. There you go, there you go. Alright, so there you go guys, um, 3D mockup and I'm going to uh, upload this um, source so you can just grab and try it out but make sure that you have this plugin installed first so yeah thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video